Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Buns and today I'm going to be showing you how to install ray traced shaders into Minecraft. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I do stream over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Link is in the description and also to make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Now, starting things off first, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are running the version of Minecraft that you want with Optifine. So for me, I'm running Minecraft 1.14. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you play that once so that it starts it up and generates the files at least one time. Okay, game is started up once. Go ahead and hit quit. And then you want to install the Optifine of your choice. Links for all of these will be in the description. Uh, to get Optifine, I'll send you over to their downloads page. If you hit the mirror link, it will send you directly to the link without having to go through any hoops with ads and anything like that. I'm using Optifine 1.14.4 HD UF3. Now, a lot of times what people do is they can't open this file and you wanna make sure that you do have the latest version of Java installed. So I'll send a link over that for you as well. Make sure you have the latest version of Java installed. And if you already have this file, it might not update to allowing you to open with Java. So you just wanna right click, open with, and then choose Java TM platform SE binary. Now, once that is open, all you want to do is hit install and it'll happen really quickly. Now go ahead and open up Minecraft again and down here where you are on 1.14 or your version, go ahead and click on that and then you will see a new Optifine version. You want to go ahead and click on that and then you want to hit play. Now to make sure everything worked, if you go into options and then video settings, you'll see a bunch more options that you don't normally see, including the shaders folder. Now, when downloading the shaders, these are specific shaders that are constantly being worked on and updated, so you do need to go to Sonic Ether's Patreon and support him there to be able to get the download link available to you, so go ahead and do that, and then you will be able to download it. I am using the SEUS PTGI E9 shaders, so once you have those installed, keep them in their zip file, go to your Minecraft, go into the shaders section, hit shaders folder. You can go ahead and drag the SEUS PTGIE9 zip file directly into your shaders folder. Now once you have these shaders running, you're not fully done yet. Make sure you go in back into your shaders folder in Minecraft, go into the shader options, go over to ray tracing and select full ray trace reflection. This will mean they were fully ray traced and there are a lot more options than if you might've used these before. These are the options I personally use. I noticed that turning your samples up to four and the reflection trace strength and diffuse GI trace length up even higher just kind of don't really benefit the look of it, but they do decrease your performance quite a bit. So these are the settings I personally use with everything and everything runs really well for me. Again, I am on a 2080 Ti on 1080p, so results may vary, but this is very extremely difficult to run on any computer. Um, when I used to be on 1440p, this was, I would be getting around 50 FPS. Again, 2080 Ti still has problems with these things, but they are uh, always updating and are always optimizing, so things will get better. I would at least try it out, turn the settings down. It still looks amazing, as you can see, but there's lots of settings. You even have motion blur if you choose to have that on, and you do have more options uh, with your lighting and shadows and your surfaces. And one more thing I would do is go into your surface options and then turn on physically based max roughness. That's something that just kind of makes it look overall better when you're using things that might be a little rougher of a texture. It just kind of looks a little better. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and a sub. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Link is in the description. As always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.